In this video, I'll show you how to set up, code, and test servos on a Raspberry Pi 5 with absolutely no jitter. So let's get right to it. So here I have a Raspberry Pi 5, and I have two servo motors set up with some 3D printed parts for a project I'm working on for a camera that can switch angles into directions. So here I have one servo, and internally here I have another. I'm just going to allow to do this. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to control the servos. So first, I'm going to hook them up directly to the Raspberry Pi. That's going to cause some jitter. Then it's going to show you the alternate method, which provides a much more stable control of the servo. So now I'll open the command terminal. I'll get into my virtual environment. I'll run Python. And step one will be to run from gpio0 import angular servo and I'll do from time import sleep then I'll define the servo so I'll start with the first one servo 0 underscore 0 this is the bottom servo calls angular servo 12 comma min underscore angle equals negative 90 comma max angle equals 90 and as soon as I do that you might notice some jitter on the servo so let's set up the top one this one's on GPIO 18 this one goes from negative 40 to 10 servo 1 all right so first we'll do servo underscore 0 dot angle equals zero that should be the starting position and then we're going to move it to 90 and back to negative 90 and then back to zero and then let's do the same on the other servo i don't have it secured yet so hopefully it doesn't fall so zero should be starting position nothing happens then negative 40 and then let's do 10 yeah it fell and then I'm gonna take it back to 0 anyways the point is you can see is super jittery it's not good so now I'm gonna go ahead and transition to the better setup for this so let's do exit. Wait. And then deactivate. Okay. So having shut down the Raspberry Pi, now I'm going to go ahead and unplug the servos and transition to the better setup. So here I have the PCA. 9685 and I have power cables connected to this which will provide 12 volts will convert to 5 volts and here I have everything connected on the required connections so ground, SCL, SDA and VCC so now I'm going to connect it to the Pi so then I'll connect on the first connection point the bottom servo and then I'll do the top servo alright so having set up our Raspberry Pi with the PCA9685. Step one is go to your preferences, Raspberry Pi configuration, and make sure on interfaces that your I2C communication is turned on or enabled. After that, click OK and head over to the command terminal. I'm going to open my virtual environment before running Python. I'm going to run pip3 install at a fruit circuit Python servo kit then run python then i'm going to say from adafruit underscore servo kit import servo kit and define kit as servo kit channels 16 because i have 16 channels on the pca 9685 and then we're going to do kit dot servo open bracket zero for the zeroth, which is the bottom servo for my setup, dot angle, equals, and I'm gonna start running several ranges to define the position. So I'm gonna start with 90, 
that's my midpoint. This shouldn't have moved since that was where already the servo was pointing at. Then let's do 180 and then zero. And then back to 90. And as you can see, absolutely no jitter, which is awesome. Then let's go ahead and run the top servo. For this one, I'll start at 100. Nothing should happen. That's my midpoint for how I have it set up. And then I'm going to go to 130. Looking down, I don't have much clearance on that on that bottom view because otherwise I have some obstructions on the internal design. That's why I can only go that low. But then I'm going to go ahead to the top position at zero and it can look way up. So now let's bring it back down to 100. And I can play with it a little bit. But as you can see, I could do a cool project with this thing. So now let's do exit. and deactivate so that's it you can see running this with the pca 9685 it's a lot smoother no jitter and pretty straightforward i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and subscribe see you in the next one bye